So I want to share with you one other um, story about what will people think. And this is an area where I'm actually now going to out myself with you because the whole way that this even started around these Facebook lives is I'm coming out if you remember back in May. So this is my coming out to you and this is an area where for the last I would say probably close to 20 years I have had the voice of what will people say. So I'm going to make this very short. All along throughout my entire life, I've always wanted to support people live better lives. One of the ways I wanted to do that was through beauty. Um, I felt like if people knew the tools around how to use makeup, how to have uh, clean and clear skin, that they would have this transformation from the inside, which is mostly what I work on, through to the outside. And in the beginning of, of my career, I was introduced to Mary Kay, and I thought, you know, this would be a really awesome opportunity for me to have a business that supported women in feeling beautiful about themselves. And so in typical Ryan fashion, I didn't just start selling Mary Kay. In fact, I got ready to get ready to do that for a long time, but what I did do was I went back to school, and I became an esthetician. And I shared some of that in my last video. So I'm all about skincare, product knowledge, and I worked in a medical spa. And then I sat on this whole skincare idea for a long time. But when I started Inspire, part of what I wanted to do was to have this inside out transformation that I offered for my clients. Because if you've had an inside transformation, and if you've quantum leaped who you think you are, what your self limits uh, are about yourself, and you've transformed them, and you are now living your brilliance, it's probably, or it's probable, that you have an outside experience opportunity for transformation. And I want to be able to support my clients all the way through the inside out transformation. So for years, for years, literally, every single time I do my makeup, I talk to myself as though I were teaching someone how to do what it is that I'm doing. Because as a brilliance activator and as just myself, my main thing that I do is I am a teacher. And so I'm in the mirror and I'm teaching someone how to do this and how to do that. Because for me, again, with this inside out transformation, one of the things that I know to be true is that oftentimes beautiful women, with you know, we go to these wonderful stores and we get all dolled up and then we go home and we don't know how to do this again for ourselves. So for me, teaching the fundamentals is so, so very important. So I do this all day long. I'm, I'm, every time I do my makeup, I'm teaching myself, like, what would I say to my clients, and da, 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 da. And yet, I have never, ever, 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 ever publicly to anyone said that I want part of my business to be an inside-out transformation. And I'm going to share with you a seed that was planted in my mind. So if you know me personally, then you know my mother. And you know that she is one of my absolute biggest champions. Biggest champions. And, but, and she said to me very early on, you know, you are meant to be supporting people and your business, you got to be really focused on coaching if that's what you want to do and be very clear. And, you know, this whole makeup thing is very confusing. It doesn't really make sense. And I don't think that her image of me as her educated daughter with a master's degree and all this kind of stuff would be, um, you know, having a business that was confusing. And so I... Every time I thought about it, and it's not my mother's fault, it is me. It is my interpretation. What will people think? Remember that is today's conversation. What will people think? So every time I thought, well, you know, maybe today will be the day that I'll, like, start this as part of my business, this you know, adding Mary Kay and talking about beauty, I would hear my mother and some other folks in my mind say, uh, I don't really get it. I don't really understand how that would be part of your business. And, you know, the thing is, is that 
It makes sense to me, and your dreams make sense to you. So it's almost like this. It's almost like I gave my mother my puzzle piece, puzzle pieces, and I said, I need you to figure out my puzzle for me based on what you see as the picture it should be. And then she works on it, and then she gives it back to me, and I'm like, well, that's not quite right. Well, the fact of the matter is these are my puzzle pieces. This is what God has intended for me to do in my life. And I have to be the owner of that. And you have to be the owner of that. And the reason why it's so very important that I use my mother as my example is because she is one of my nearest and dearest friends. Her opinion matters to me. And I don't want to let her down. I want to make her proud. I want her to be, you know, feeling like my business makes sense and that I'm a successful person. So her opinion matters. So as I am thinking about my dreams and my life, I have important people's voices in my mind. Yet and still... People may not understand your dreams. They may not understand your vision. They may very well not understand it for themselves. Because guess what? My mother doesn't want to sell makeup. So it doesn't make sense for her. Right? You may not want to sell makeup. So it might not make sense for you. But it makes sense for me. And it's my dream. So all this to say, and I want to wrap it up with this. What will people say? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what people will say. Because what matters is what will you say? What will you say today? What will you say tomorrow? What will you say at the end of your life? When the question is, what did you do with your time, your talent, and your resources? What did you do or what did you hesitate on? And only you can answer that. No one else can answer that question for you. And I do know as a fact that the more that you stand in your brilliance, the more that you allow yourself to be in that zone of temporarily sustained uncomfortability and go through that and trust that process, you will get to the other side feeling more comfortable and feeling more confident. So I invite you to attend our makeup webinar, which is next Thursday next Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but you will see plenty, 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 plenty of posts and communications about it. So again, thank you for your time and for connecting with me for this challenge of me continuing to stand in my brilliance publicly and to share with you that the answer to what will people say is it doesn't make a difference. The question that really is transformative is, what will you say if you don't live your dream? What's it costing you? So join us next Thursday for both another live and for our webinar. And we'll be talking about three proven steps to quantum leap you out of the quicksand. You'll receive a free downloadable workbook that we will use live during that uh, webinar call and look really forward to talking to you and connecting with you again. Love and light. Take care.